terms in the regression model the next step is to determine whether the model is meeting the regression assumptions or not one of the regression assumptions is that the residuals or the error term it follows normal distribution to determine whether the error term is following a normal distribution or not we need to first of all extract the errors for that click on this red triangle click on save columns and click on studentized residuals one more column will be appended at the end of your table uh, which will contain uh, studentized resid followed by the variable name now we need to determine whether these values are following normal distribution or not for that click on analyze click on distribution and select the column for which you want to determine whether the values are following normal distribution or not now a dialog box will appear an output window basically and uh, in this click on this red triangle choose the option continuous fit since we want to fit a normal distribution to this and click fit normal at the bottom you will see the jump has fitted a normal distribution with uh, and also shows what is the mean and what is the standard deviation now we can do a statistical test to determine whether this distribution is uh, significant or not for that again uh, click on this red triangle and we can check the goodness of fit see here the shapiro wilk value the probability of this test the shapiro wilk test for normality assumption the probability is less than 0.05 which is the chosen level of significance hence the values are not following normal distribution in order to uh, proceed with the analysis we should uh, transform the variable uh, the y variable the output variable using some transformation and uh, redo the analysis and again check whether the residuals are following normal distribution another way is because of these values which are outside the box plot box and whisker lines uh, because of these values since these are the outliers the software is unable to fit a normal distribution so one of the approach is that we delete these data points which are outside the box plot and redo the analysis to do that in jump first select the data point from here and jump will automatically highlight the that particular data point in the table now holding down command key on mac or control key on the windows i can select the multiple points and as you can see that all the three points which are outside the box plot uh, which are essentially uh, outliers have been uh, highlighted here now i need to delete these points but rather than deleting these points what i'll do is i'll right click somewhere here and i'll click on hide and exclude so whenever i'm going to do some analysis on these values jump is going to exclude call row number 21 row number 26 and row number 34 from the analysis and Uh, it will give you the results uh, which do not account for these values